Okay, y'all. I am going to show you my current makeup bag situation and then my unboxing of my new makeup bag. So, I'm doing this from the like school pickup line. So, I'm going to try and do it kind of quick. Um, this is currently what I have going on and to be honest I'm a little embarrassed to show you because I, I originally just had everything kind of thrown in here all together and that wasn't working for me because I was having to you know dig through to find the one thing that I needed and it got super annoying so I separated everything into little fucking sandwich baggies which I mean it definitely works like I have this bag that has like my primer, my foundation, and my powder and blush, my bronzer. This bag has my eyeshadows. And then this bag has my um, eyeliner. And then that doesn't really leave much in here. I have like my brushes, my eyelash curler, um, my mascara, and my lip gloss. So that's what we have currently and then what I purchased um, is from Amazon and I think it was I'll definitely put all the like accurate information in the description below um, but I think I paid $13.99 depending on which um, style you choose some of them are like a dollar more some of them are a dollar less but they had probably 10 different design options to choose from. I really like the navy floral one. Um, so it's basically just kind of like a square bag. And then you have three, oh, maybe there's, no, there's three uh, Velcro dividers. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get these in so I can show you how everything is gonna fit. Oh, I'm getting not really. What on earth? All right, all right, I think I got it figured out here. All right. everywhere all right so that ends up looking like four little compartments there you have three square compartments and then one long rectangle compartment and then up here at the top you have a zipper compartment here that goes all the way across for palettes probably if you have any like eyeshadow palettes that would be a great place to store those and then this is a little flap and you have um, pockets for brushes. I will probably put my tube of primer, my tube of BB cream in there. Maybe my eyelash curler even would be um, a good fit in there. Maybe it might not. And then my mascara. So let's get going. So I'm going to start with the first bag that I usually grab when I go to put my makeup on. I have my uh, Burt's Bees Matte Foundation. It's just a powder. Um, I think I'm going to put all of my powders. I think I'm just going to stand them straight up. I have my e.l.f. bronzer. And then I have my Rimmel Maxi Blush. I have my Angel Veil. This stuff is amazing. Um, I'm almost out of it. I'm just squeezing the last few drops out. So then I have a brand new tube. And then I have this um, Neutrogena Healthy Skin Anti-Aging Perfector. Um, it's just a, it doesn't actually say on here whether it's a BB or a CC cream. I think it's a CC cream. It's basically just like a tinted moisturizer with SPF. 
so it's perfect for my skin. I don't like foundation because I don't like to cover up my freckles. I like to look pretty natural, so I love this stuff, and it doesn't break me out. And then I just use one of these, and I swap these out pretty frequently. And then I have two different concealers. So this one is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser. This is the little small one um, for the eyes, and I just use it for the eyes. And then this one is the Revlon Photo Ready. I am pretty much out of this. Like I am, it's it's all the way up to the max. Um, this is the one I use if I have any breakouts. I'll touch my breakouts up. This covers really well. So I have both of those. And I will probably pop those into one of these little pockets up here. So there's that bag. That bag's empty. And then, let's see. I think I'm going to stay in the order that I use everything. So my brushes I'm going to pop up here. And then my, these are the three um, eyelash brushes that I use. I just buy the cheap brushes. I buy either e.l.f. or, I think this other one is a Wet n Wild, and I probably got that at the Dollar Tree, honestly. I mean, I don't care. <laughs> as long as it feels nice, like I'm, I have very sensitive skin. I'm, I'm very much a texture person. If it's, if it's not soft, if it hurts in any way, it ain't gonna work. And then I use the Maybelline Lash Sensational. Um, they have the pink one that has like a curved um, brush. And I just, I can't, I can't do it. It's I'm too messy. So this is just the straight brush, which still, I mean, it's still, I, I still get pretty messy with it, unfortunately, but I like this one better just because it has a straight brush. All right, what else do I have in here? So I have just two different lip glosses. I use baby lips. Um, I have a tweezers. I have a little nail clipper just for emergencies. And I have just a little hair clip. So, I'm not really sure where I want to put any of this. So for now, I think I'm just going to throw it in the big pocket. And then all I have left is my um, eyeshadows. And I, listen, like I'm a drugstore girl. I will usually get my eyeshadows from... Target, Walmart, Dollar Tree, anywhere that's cheap. Um, this is LA Colors Mineral Eyeshadow. This is a Dollar Tree eyeshadow. Uh, this is a Target eyeshadow. It's Lottie London. I think I just paid a couple bucks for it. I probably got it on clearance. So I'm just going to slip these in here. Again, LA Colors. That's a Dollar Tree one. This is... Hard candy, but I think I think I picked this one up at Target for like five bucks. This one I actually got from Amazon. I probably have three or four um, different palettes or different colors of these palettes. I get this from Amazon just because these are matte. It's really hard to find a palette that has you know more than one matte shade in it. They're all glitter, they're all sparkly, and these are great. You can order these on Amazon. I'll try to put the link in. <coughs> they probably have, I don't know, six or eight different color combinations that you can pick from. And then the last one is just my eyeliners. And honestly, um, there's three in here that I use daily. So this one is NYX Infinite Shadow Stick, and it's in Sweet Pink. And it's just a very soft, sparkly, it's almost like a nude uh, skin tone. And I use that to line all the way around. And then this one, again, I, I picked this one up at the Dollar Tree. This is an all-in-one LA Colors lipstick blush and eyeshadow mm, I don't see where it says what color it is 
it's just kind of like a mauve color and I use this um, across the top lid and then this is a NYX I picked this up on Amazon it's a jumbo eye pencil and this one is cobalt it's like a navy blue almost and I use this just on the upper lid just kind of towards the outer corner um, and this just really these these combination of these three colors just really makes like the green in my eyes pop out and I really like it and so some of these are gonna fit in this little corner and some of them aren't so I may have to put my eyeliners in this zipper pocket back here so I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that I have another one of those NYX Again, I get these off of Amazon. They're usually like three or four bucks. This one is purple velvet. I use that one a lot. And then a lot of these other ones are just kind of random ones that I picked up, you know, from Target or Dollar Tree, just here and there. And then I do have a brow, um, It just says wow brow it's elf I got from Target and it's just like a, a blonde little brow mascara that I very rarely will use I'll use like if I'm going out to dinner or I don't know fancy you know something something super fancy but I hardly ever use it and then I just have like a little um, sharpener so that's it that's my makeup bag transformation that's everything in there and then that kind of folds down over your brushes so here's the big concern I had with this bag my concern is that like when you're carrying it, you're jostling it around, like is the stuff from one compartment gonna end up in another compartment? I don't know, I'm wondering. I'm wondering if that's like an issue. It really doesn't seem to be. And then also like, is it gonna slide underneath? So, I mean, I guess it probably could if, you know, maybe you're, you have this in a suitcase and you're traveling, probably if you are flying somewhere and going on an airplane and this is just kind of in your suitcase and it's getting thrown around that's probably going to be an issue but for me it probably won't be I like how the handle is on top so it kind of stays upright a lot of the other ones had it here so then it's tilted like this and then I think that would be more of an issue of everything sliding from compartment to compartment but I think that's a really cute bag all right lines moving <laughs>